Hi. Hi, how are you going? Jason, you should do that too. Oh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> um, I'll start with, what's your name? My name's Guy. What's yours? My name's Cam. I'm from 3 FM. I can see there's going to be a lot of fun today. Yeah. And I'm from Grossy Restaurants. Yeah. And this is and Jason. I'm from 80 Burke Street. That's Grossy Restaurants with people that don't know the address. <laughs> but why wouldn't you? You do now. I'm excited. I'm really excited. Do you know why I'm excited? No. Because truffle season is upon us. Yes. And it's a bumper. And yeah. we're here to celebrate truffle season. Guy, can you remember the moment when you got your first Australian truffle? I remember my first Aussie truffle was a mandrumup truffle. Yes. And, and I nearly cried because I was so impressed with the fact that we actually had truffles yeah. in Australia yeah. and that they actually tasted so bloody good. Yes. I couldn't believe it. These things tasted like a truffle I'd, I'd had in Europe. We're yes. here to talk about the tuber, the one underneath the ground that brings so we've much got, joy. We've got two in this dish. That's why I call it the prince and the pauper. We've got potato yes. and we've got truffle. Yes. I'll leave it up to you to decide who's hey. the prince and who's the pauper. Can you work it out at home? So it's a tortellini dish. And the first thing that needs to be said about about pasta, really good pasta, yes. is it starts with this. The semolina. Well, it's durum wheat semolina. Not to be confused with semolina, the white stuff that you make Roman style gnocchi at or gnocchi yes. romana. What's, this, what's the difference? Oh, this is a hard grain. It has a very hard grain. That's why it's called um, granduro. Yes. And it's very yellow and it's got a, it's very glutinous and it's it's firm to the bite. Man, so it's a beautiful, it's, oh, it's a beautiful it's, texture it's, it's too. A, it's a very sandy texture. The semolina is a lot coarser and harder, isn't it? It is. Yes. yes. Okay. Um, and eggs, eggs, really good eggs that come from a good source. Yep. Um, and then you work the dough, rest it, roll it out, laminate it lots of times, and usually you, sh you should have a Jason to do that Here we go. Here we go. The reveal. And voila, or should I say, echo? Echo. Again. And here we have our beautifully laminated pasta circles, which Jason has lovingly cut out for us. Yep. And now oh, I'm going to get Jason to start filling our tortellini. Because gotcha. otherwise there'd be no reason for you to have walked all the way here. No, all, all the way down that hill. So inside this mixture is Let the me talk prince. To you. Let me talk to you, the prince and, and the, the pauper. We get a little bit of onion. Yes. A little bit of garlic, both finely, finely chopped. Yes. And then we have some potatoes. I usually like to use a Desiree potato for this. Why is that? Waxy? They're just waxy and yeah. delicious. Okay. All into the oven, bake it off. Jason's doing a bit of... Um, Moisturising here. So we don't have to, I've seen a lot of people that dip their finger in the water and then go well, around the, this way, you don't have to do that. The tends to be a little bit more hygienic, don't Oh wow, you think? here we go, I should be quiet because there's artistry happening in front of us. Now, with the, with the mixture, let's get back to the mixture. Yes. Once, once it's been cooked in the oven, we then put it through a moulin. And then, yes. we mix it all together and then we add the magic. We grate microplane truffle, lots of truffle into it, as you can see. You've been generous with those truffles, guys. Well, you know, you've. I think if you're going to do it, yeah, you go all the way. The season is good, so we may as well celebrate it properly. And mm. if you're going to use a bit of truffle, you do a good portion of truffle. You make it, yeah, the flavour come through with the and, truffle. And maybe that's one of the things about the truffle that we can talk about is that the truffle now, I think, and tell me if you agree with this guy, it's affordable luxury. Yes, I agree yeah. wholeheartedly well, that it has gone down in price. Yeah. Not value, but no. price. Do you like the little technique? Like the well, yes, rolling? I love the technique and I want mm. to talk about the technique and I want to know how many of those you've made in your lifetime now. Uh, let me just check, I've got it recorded somewhere. Yes. One, One million and... One million. Jason, did you salt the water like I asked you to for I'm the pasta? Shall I, I hand step you the salt? out of shot so Here you can go. do this. Always, Cameron, remember. Can yes. I call you Cameron? Yeah, you can call me Cam, you can call me Cameron. Always plenty of boiling water. Yes. You need a lot of water in there. Vigorously, Vigorously boiling. Vigorously boiling, correct. Yes. Correct, and salt, lots of salt. Yes. We talked about the flour. The flour has wonderful flavour. Yes. If you don't put salt in the water, you don't get that lovely flavour of the flour. It now, becomes flat and uninteresting. I have something special here I need to share with you. It's Please. the Grossi Acasa. Truffle butter. It's Ooh. just been developed yes. for Truffle Confidential. Yes. Brand new. Oh, is this a new product? Yeah. Wow. It's for our truffle dish oh, today. Awesome. 
what I'm gonna do is cut a very generous chunk of this off. You can go, you can go, Jason, drop wow. it. Wow, I'll go here on this side, I'll swap with you, Jason. I'm gonna pop that in the pan. That's what Actually, you know what, I'm gonna do the ball. Oh, why, why hold back? Whoa, okay, that's great. So the tortellini are doing their thing in there, that's boiling away. Yes, you're happy with that's that? This one. And we always will make sure that we just lift them off the bottom because there's nothing worse than mm. the tortellini sinking right down and catching on the bottom and of they, the pot. They, they catch their bums. They stick. Yeah, not yeah. good. Do you like that, Jason? It's looking good. I love it. Can you... Jason's oh, happy. Smell it. Smell, smell the butter. You can smell it. The truffle in there. You Ooh, smell it. Oh, that smells good. It's amazing to be doing this while you guys are cooking along at home with me. I love virtual Are you all having things. a good time doing that? Because I'm loving it. I, I really am. You happy with that, Jason? I'm I cooked it up. He's loving it? I'm happy with it. You cooked it up? You sure? You checked it? How did you check? He touched yeah, it. Started. He touched it. Okay. Did you touch it and feel it? Yeah, and uh, when they started to float, and that means they're ready. Did you hear that, Again? folks? Uh, so if you see them start to float up, they should be ready to go into the butter. Oh, God, that's looking so good. Now, I like to let them sizzle away a bit because yes. I like a bit of colour in there. Yes. No need to put salt because our butter is seasoned for you. So it takes all the hard work out of it. You want an emulsification happening here? Well, you, can, you don't have to, but I kind of like it. And um, you can leave it all loose and broken. Yeah. Or you can emulsify it. Time to turn that gas down oh, now. OK, so you don't have to. You don't have to, but you well, can. I like to see it all come together. See how that's made it's, it? It's got to be glossy. That's the sauce, it's isn't gotta it? It's got to be glossy. That's going to be the sauce. Yep. Parmigiano? Yes. All right. You should have your little um, container of Parmigiano with you, with your pack, with your Grossier Casa pack. So you just, so you just put it in. drop it in. Yep. And then we bring all that together. See how that's all glossy now, come together? Yes. The liquid from there, the fat, the cheese, everything's all come together and formed this, the truffle. this wonderful emulsification. Are you happy with that, Jason, that emulsification? Oh, hey? Really happy with it. You're Did very I do happy a good job? Chef? I don't get the sack today, thank <laughs> God. There we go. Nice and generous all over it. Wow. You've got your little truffle shavings in your pack. Yes. So throw them on there, throw them all on there. And now we're ready to serve that up. Oh, OK. Epitifies the perfect medium for truffles. It's soulful elegance. You've got beautiful northern Italian ingredients here, mm. the tartufo, the butter, the parmigiano, the beautiful elegant pasta, and mm. I think it just works ever so well. And I love the way you've paired it with the potatoes. I mean, so simple as, as a great flavour vehicle for it. Please try it. Oh, okay. this is something that doesn't happen to me very often that I'm actually fed by Guy Gross. Thank you so much. An absolute pleasure. We're going to eat together? I think so. Let's do it together, synchronised. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Oh, good. Al dente. Mmm. Right. Oh, perfectly al dente. Mmm. Bravo, Jeff. Mmm. And those flavours, mm. and there's a lovely amount of salt there that really brings forward the flavour. And you get the mystery of the truffle just encased and caressed by the fat and it's magnificent. Beautiful. Yep. Do you what do you like think? Try? You want to go have, have one? I would love to have I think you should. I was waiting for Chef, actually. Mm. Here we go. That's a very big... <laughs> Whoa! What do you think? It's hard to talk, isn't it, when it's in your mouth? Where do you get your truffles? Trufflemelbourne.com. That's where you go. You can also go... Have you been to the Queen Victoria Market lately? I haven't been for a little while, actually, but I do love it down there. Of course. Mm. It's, it's a beautiful Melbourne institution. Within Absolutely. that, in the organic section, there is a pop-up um, place to go and get truffles. And you can go in there with a few shekels. You'll come home with a glorious truffle. How do they get in touch with you? Grossy.com.au. Oh, there you go. That simple. I just got to feed it to you. <laughs> there it is. The Prince and the Pauper. How did you go at home? I hope you've cooked it well. You can't really answer me, though, but yeah. I hope you have. We hope that you are making these lovely little squealing sounds that we've been making in here 
And um, was that you? I, didn't you hear me squeal? I did. I, so nice. Um, Guy, it's been a pleasure to hang out with you. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Great to meet you, Jason. You. Um, and bon appetito to you people. Am I saying that properly? Bon appetito. Hey, there we go. Grazie. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Bye. Mm -hmm.